is Jenny? I live in Dorset in the UK. Um, I've been playing. <laughs> I got a Prim Maxi Blue knitting machine. Oh, I've been wanting one of these for ages. Absolutely ages. Um, I like it. Um, I first saw it when I was in Salisbury and Franklin. So I had it up there and couldn't afford it. And it was quite cheap last weekend. Last weekend, Monday. And I was like, I can't let it go at that price. It was really cheap. So I bought it and I've been playing quite a lot. <laughs> quite a lot. Um, the needle has already walked. It's on the chair somewhere. So I haven't sewn a lot of these in yet. Sorry, Kim in Manchester. Hi, Kim. And um, yeah, so this is a Poundland yarn. The one that comes out like flowers. That way round. And it's really lovely. I've never seen it with the flowers because I've always crocheted with it. But it's so pretty. So pretty. Uh, I've done that. Uh, came, that's the beginning end. That's the finish end. I'll crochet the ends together. And I'll make it into a cow. Something Yee! all over the place. That, but yeah, I've been having fun with that. So I've done that one. Um, this was the first one. My hair's gone all static. Bit of a mess. I haven't sewed it up great. We were trying to do the twisty thing. Um, Kira liked it, so we actually had a play as well. And um, this is the Deramol's yarn. And it came out of the box I got last year from Deramol's. Um, Sublime. Baby cashmere. I got in the box a whole load of them. And I thought, oh, I'll have a play with that. See what it's like. Ooh, it's a little fly. Um, so that was the first attempt. I twisted it because we were trying to do the twist. But it hadn't come out very well. But it was good fun. Even Kira said, this is my kind of knitting. It does. It did drop a lot. <laughs> so I hid it on the inside. And that. But the yarn that was on it, I just... Put the yellow yarn on there. My hair's a mess. And um, just yanked away. And um, i done a long scarf out of a, a cake from Good Five Yarns. And it's a bit like a Doctor Who scarf. It long. Uh, you know, I might sew them ends together when I find the needle and you it says a big get my hair messy again big double cow thing um see I've been having fun my arms are gonna ache like hell tomorrow and this is the I didn't like this yarn because it kept sticking in it um yeah it kept sticking on the thing so I didn't like this yarn it's a shame because it's a pretty colour it's the it's a good five yarns one again. It's a batik, papa batik, I think. And I, I could do it, fold it up and put it in as a hat as well. So I did do that earlier. But just do it up like that. Shove the dead ends inside. <laughs> and then sew them in a bit better. And it could be a nice hat. Uh, I'd do that actually. Save wasting it. <laughs> uh, you see I've been having fun but yeah I've done quite a lot of knitting kind of knitting I bought it because I wanted it because I knew I was getting something coming my way and um, I wanted to get something to remember Nan by and she likes her knitting and um, so yeah so I've got a lot of knitting to do um I've got another load of those balls. I had quite a lot of them. It feels nice. So I might make some more with it. I'm just playing with it right now. Because um, I haven't done anything with a loom knitting machine for ages. I've mean, I got one of the toy ones. But that one's broken. I'll chuck that in the bin. Um, but I really like playing with this. So all I've been doing today is I've got something behind now has been doing the um, knitting machine as soon as it turned up. I was playing. 
I was playing with it. I had good news tonight. Um, Dad said he was going out to get his um, injections um, next Friday. Um, cause he had to have a scan in the morning and she said he could go in for his injections in the afternoon. Um, he had a phone call tonight and she said, um, can you come down and get your injections? He said, when? She went, now. And he went, oh, this will be my wife's um, 75 tomorrow. And she said, she can come and get it as well. So they both had their first dose of injections. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so I was quite pleased when mum told me. I was, wasn't sure if she was going to have it or not. She was humming and hawing. And she asked which one she's, they were given. They had the first lot of um, injections. Um, so they got to go back again. Mum said 10 days, but it's probably longer than that. And that so, but no, at least they've had their first lot, yay! So I'm quite pleased about that. That's really good news, really good news. And Dad said he was well impressed with how they were doing it in there. He had a sticker on his chest, sock on his jumper when he was allowed out the surgery, <laughs> out the clinic, because uh, you have to sit there for a while. We said, um, but I'm chuffed, really chuffed. Uh, I love this scarf. Oh, it's like a Doctor Who scarf. I could knit another one on the machine with Doctor Who scarf. I knitted it by hand. It's got Nan's knitting on it as well. But I absolutely love that. Absolutely love that. So that's been me all day playing. Um, yeah, one yarn, it just kept dropping and dropping and dropping. This one. I uh, just didn't like it. It was sticking. And we'll try and get and do the hats with the double brim. I'm going to have fun. My arms are going to ache like hell tomorrow. I've got something else coming tomorrow as well. There'll be another video tomorrow. That's if it turns up. You know what Amazon are like? It'll probably turn up Monday instead. <laughs> and that, but yeah, I'm going to go. I need to give my arms a break. And Kira's got an interview with Hereford University on Wednesday. And then the week after, she's got an interview with Cardiff Met. I'm hoping she, I want her to go to Cardiff. She's always wanted to go to Cardiff, so we'll see what happens. Right, I'm going to go because I'm off and I hope you're staying safe and staying well, and I shall speak to you on the next one. Bye.